Recording live from the Northeast Georgia Business Radio X Studio. This is Northeast Georgia Business Radio. Welcome back, folks. Welcome back to Northeast Georgia Business Radio. I am your host, Tom Sheldon, and we are at the beautiful Empower College and Career Center of Jackson County. This should be a fun show. This is going to be one of those shows that either it's going to be really, really good or really, really bad, and I'll regret it. Hopefully not the latter. I have with me two uh, guests that I've known for quite a while. I think I admit that. At least I admit it now. I have with me Lori Waters and Heather Pace from Leather and Lace Coffee and Company. Ladies, how are you? Hello, Tom. You Doing can speak great. Now. You can speak now. Hey, Tom. Doing well. Thank you. Okay. Now, that, that second voice, that was Heather. And, and we've strapped her to her chair so she can't leave. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. We're just sitting back having fun. We're not drinking coffee, though. What's up with that? I know. We could we could go for you another know, cup. I, there, is, there, is there ever a bad time for coffee? Never. We haven't found it. Okay, good, good. I, I'm, I'm not going to look. That's just what I don't do. All right, Leather and Lace Coffee and Company. I have a feeling you ladies roast coffee, serve coffee, sell coffee, but you do a lot more than that, do you not? We do indeed. We... Uh, we are the only barrel aging artisan roasting coffee company in North Georgia that's female owned and operated that, that we know. Female owned and operated. That's awesome. Congratulations yes. on that. Thank you so Thank much. You. Heather's been in the coffee industry for years. Uh, you want to tell a little bit about your coffee background? Because coffee is... Yeah, that's, uh, that's why we brought her in, Lori. Let's just be, let's just be honest. <laughs> that's the only reason I'm here. Because she's a magician when it comes to coffee beans. She really is i got to know this. Did you just wake up one day, Heather, and say, coffee? I wake up actually every morning saying that. But I, in a different way, did you say that? I do now. Um, no, not in the beginning. I actually, uh, in my mid-20s, decided to move out west uh, to a little place called Seattle, Washington. You may have heard of it. A few it. people know where that is. <laughs> I've been in the airport. Um, it's very confusing. Went out anyway. there just trying to figure out what exactly it, it is I wanted to do with my life. And... My first job just happened to be with a little a little coffee shop. Um, as you know, there's a lot of coffee companies out in Seattle. There is. And I thought, I'll work here until I find a real job, and I was hooked immediately. And here I am, almost 30 years later, still doing coffee, and I love it. I'm now a certified coffee master and roaster. That's a real thing. It truly is a real thing, yes. No, I'm not I being did, funny. I'm being serious. I did training classes and everything. That is a real thing. I got you. I got you. So when you roast coffee, there's, is there many different ways, a few different ways? There are many different ways. Um, so what we do is we actually artisan roast our coffee now, in small in batches. what is that? That sounds so cool. It's, it is. It's, uh, we do it in small batches over direct heat. Okay. We don't plug in big equipment. Um, you know, we just do a couple pounds at a time. Slow, and small batches. It's very small batches, yes, especially when we do our, our barrel-aged bourbon coffees. Those are in really small batches. Um, so it's, it's a lot of fun. I, I stand there the entire time. It's, it's all about temperature, timing. I mean, there's a lot of science that goes into it. No doubt. Um, no it, doubt. Was, it was a lot of trial and error in the beginning, oh, um, sure. but a lot of fun. I, I look forward to the days that we're actually doing the roasting, and we'll spend a full 8, 10 hours a day just straight-up roasting from morning it, to it night. It almost sounds relaxing while you do it. It's very it relaxing. It is a therapy, yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm serious. I'm roasting beans. Leave me alone, everybody. It's it's very therapeutic. That's why we. It's usually just Lori and myself when we're doing it. Um, it's I'm just, ready to it's, apprentice. Apprentice. <laughs> yeah, you know, this podcasting thing. You never know. You never know. So. Yeah, we've we've got a few people that truly they're like we don't care if you pay us or not. We just really would like to be a part of it. And you know, the larger uh, that the distribution side of it grows, of course, we do have to to bring in staff for that. But like Heather said, there's just there's something that's really cool, especially about the the way that we do artisan roast. Uh, we have to do that for the uh, the barrel age. We don't really have an option. It, that's the only safe way to roast barrel age coffee. Um, but we enjoy it so much that we literally just roast absolutely every bean we have that way. I got you. Um, what, what kind of barrels do we use? Well, we mostly bourbon. Uh, use, we all, use bourbon. Yeah, barrels. use bourbon barrels. Gotcha. That's right. Gotcha. Um, and then we also have uh, rum and brandy. Uh, you know, and some that have been both, some that have been a bourbon barrel dumped and then, uh, you know, maybe brandy coming behind it, which 
each one of these barrels brings on just such a neat, different oh, characteristic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can it has imagine. their own identity. That's Every right. Yeah. So now you soak the beans in the barrels or you roast it? How do you do well, that? Or both? Well, we do. And we don't honestly don't tell a whole lot about okay, the process. Never mind. Well, no, no, that's okay. Don't but tell it, anybody. Well, it, it rests. It rests for for a series of time. And okay. it rest is about as far as we go with the descriptor on it. But um, but no, it's, no, a, it's a great you. process. It's a neat process. Um, it was a neat way that. Uh, Heather and I could, you know, find a lot of joy in the coffee together was the barrel aging. That's kind of what even got the, the ball rolling for she and I, even, you know, beginning the company. So those were the early days. Those were most definitely Finding the early days. Finding your little niche. Yeah, for sure. And the, the thing about coffee beans is before you roast them, they're like a sponge. They're very porous. Are they? So they'll take in whatever aroma around them. I guess. That's, the, that's what they'll take in. So that's why resting them in these barrels for a certain amount of times – they suck in and just pull in all the, the aroma, whatever's in that barrel. And then as long as during the roasting process, you don't over-roast it, you know, and you, you, you figure the science behind it, it'll keep that flavor and aroma in the beans. So it's, it's a very cool process, a lot of fun. Nice, nice. Now, I have in my notes that, uh, well, we all went through COVID, right? Right. The, the lost years or whatever. Yeah, I call it our our pandemic pivots. What Your I call it. Pandemic pivot. You like that? I, I have that in my notes. I coined that a little bit. I was afraid to say it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I haven't trademarked it, so we're okay. To, you should have. I probably yeah, will. I think you might. It's as well. me, Tom. I probably will. Throw it against will. the wall. See if it sticks. Right. I was lucky. I got to stay on the front lines, cooking and delivering food the entire time. Well, so. that's that's a lot of what I was going to say in regards to the pandemic uh, pivot. So so now a lot of people know that we have a very large uh, catering company that goes along with right, the coffee. Right. Um, the pandemic is kind of the birthplace of that. Uh, we had gone from, you know, just, you know, doing coffee, you know, pretty much just coffee uh, to uh, having to branch out into food, and it was out of necessity. So with our, our uh, pandemic pivot that I call it, as we, as we adjusted the model of the business, we reached out to all manner of medical offices, hospitals, uh, anyone that, that we knew would be in need of coffee and or food. Um, and we were able to sustain and, and carry the business and then eventually thrive with the business through those great uh, you know, connections that we had made during the pandemic. And not only did those you know, doctors, nurses, uh, medical staff, you know, need coffee to keep going on these long shifts and what have you not, uh, but they also needed food. Right. And so that that was how the catering side of the company even came about. And then, you know, like I said, then, then you know, it just continued to grow. Even after the pandemic, we still were able to keep those great clients and those great connections. And then, you know, then it just went to a different, you know, shift yet again of, well, now we're doing these large events. And now we need catering for, you know, these different locations and so forth and so on. You adapted, you over overcame. So congratulations on that. Well, I appreciate that. It, it, seriously, it's nice to hear a, you're still a work in progress, but a success story coming out of COVID. Yeah, agree. That's awesome. Agree. There's, Heather, a, there's a lot that aren't. Right. A lot of stories that aren't. That's right. He Heather and I have a little phrase that we say, never not working. Right. And so Heather and I are never not working. Um, even when we're not working, our, our wheel never seems to stop spinning. And so I, I attribute a lot of the fact that we just, you know, a lot of really good business savvy, a lot of good business sense. Right. And so we, we just, we saw how we needed to shift it and what we needed to do to be successful. Nice. Nice. Now you do cater. We do. You know, let's not let's not gloss over that at all. Um, the coffee is great. I have I have sampled a, a few of your versions. Very good ladies. Thank but you. let's talk a little bit more about the catering. Do you cater big events? Most special events, yeah. weddings. M mostly, mostly all we do is big. Just to be honest with you, uh, we do have smaller clients and. You know, we, we try to cater to anyone that truly needs it. Um, we've always just been the type of people that, it, you know, if we can help you, we will. That's right. just kind of the core of who Heather and I are as people. Um, but, yeah, we, we've got very, very large clients at this point. Um, we are the in-house caterers at the Brazelton Civic Center. I was about to ask you about yeah, that. Yeah, over in, in downtown Brazelton, uh, there's a, a large, beautiful facility that the town of Brazelton has built uh, called the Brazelton Civic Center. And we are the, the in-house caterers there at that facility. Um, 
very large events uh, that occur there. So any of those that are that are house events, we take care of all those. Uh, that those numbers of attendees can range anywhere, you know, from two to four hundred ish. Right. Um, we've even got another one that's just came in recently. It'll be an offsite, but it's all the way up to six. Now we can do five oh four at the center uh, seated. Right. Um, but yeah, it you know it, it's it's great. We we're we're definitely uh, blessed, and uh, we we love we just love uh, people. We love events. We love there's there's not any of it that we don't really enjoy. I mean, we all you know we all get exhausted. I mean, that's just human. Um, but like Heather said, every morning we wake up and we really love what we're doing. Um, so the special occasion and the corporate events are most definitely the ones that we we do the most of um and uh you know but like i said we 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 try to honestly accommodate to just about anybody that we can tom i was about about to say you travel though you just don't you just don't cater the events at the civic center that's correct we do uh all over north georgia all all over it pretty much uh North, Just a little I'm bit. I'm sorry. Did I say North Georgia? I meant Northeast. <laughs> Northeast Georgia. Northeast Georgia. Northeast I do Georgia. a lot in Atlanta as well. Yeah. We, yeah. T-Mobile is one of our big clients in Atlanta. Right. Congratulations so, on that. Yeah. That's very thank nice. you very much. We've got we've got some some big ones down there, um, and uh, for sure. But um, yeah. but a wedding, say, an hour from here, pick a spot. You you would cater that. We've actually gone all the way up to Tennessee. Have you really? We truly have, and we've got some uh, around the Carolinas, South Carolina and North Carolina. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, you know, so, yeah, that, that's that's the great thing about us is uh, we – we can go pretty much anywhere and uh, do pretty much anything, and that's just that's just kind of Heather. That explains Heather and I. Now, I, I want to get back to the uh, to the, to the Civic Center, where okay. you're, you're, I guess, quote unquote. Can we say you're based? Is I don't know if that's. Oh, right. absolutely. I have. Can we a, say okay? Well, I, okay. well, I have a. I have a, a, a. Actually, the kitchen there is only that, per- permitted to us. That so. that is what I wanted to get to. I, I've right. had the fortunate pleasure of touring that. Isn't it gorgeous? Not long after y'all moved in. Right. Okay, th- th- folks. For those of you who have not toured the kitchen, it is not a, a couple stoves and a sink. Maybe a really large kitchen that you would have at your home. This is an industrial kitchen. Yeah, it's massive it's and it's beautiful. Awesome. It really it's awesome. is. Tell everyone a little bit about that, because because there's a lot of caterers. We all know ten caterers, right? We do. Oh, we, sure. We truly do. <laughs> a lot of caterers are making food out of their kitchens, which which is awesome. It's great. Sure. But that's not what you're doing. Oh, you're no. taking it to a whole nother level. Oh yeah. Allowing you to do that four, five, six hundred. Yeah. Mile, this miles is, to feed, is that the right way? That's right. They call it a cottage license, Tom, is what you're is that, referring to. Is that to. what it is? I well, have no idea. Well, when they when they operate out of their home, they it's called a, co- a cottage license. And this is very far from and, a And, and there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. We're, oh, we're not, not throwing at all. shade. Not at all. Not, trust me, we, we've all been there. We've all... Uh, We've all had to, to, you know, work from the ground up, so to say. Um, you know, Heather and I have, uh, we've, ha- as they call the, the the road of hard knocks, we have definitely ridden I've been, down. I've been down that road a couple we've rid- times. We've ridden down the, the road of, of, uh, of hard knocks, I guarantee it. So uh, we've popped up in, you know, uh, had pop-up event tents and, and what have you. We've had to. Uh, do makeshift this and what have you on you know different uh, sites and and so forth so but yes as far as the kitchen at, uh, at the center goes it, it is absolutely immaculate it is and everything yeah. you can dream of to use and, and do what you do with absolutely it. and honestly that that alone is what allows us to be able that space and and you know the equipment that's in there is what allows us to be able to feed the hundreds you know, and even thousands. So just, just the last two weeks of March at the center, we fed over 1,200 people right. just in the last two weeks of March. And, and that, that space is, is definitely what's, you know, given us the elbow room, as I say, to be able to do that. Now, you mentioned your, your, that, that kitchen is yours exclusively to use. That is correct. It's permitted to Leather and Lace, to, you, to you, Coffee and you. Company, absolutely, with all my, you know, signees off on everything. Of course. Uh, and, yeah, I've, I've, uh, I'm a business of downtown Brasselton, proudly. Jackson County. Uh, it is. It well, and what's great it's is Brass. Good Bra- place to live, work, and play. It is. Brazelton is actually in in four, so it's kind of neat. So uh, we're in Jackson, uh, Barrow, uh, and Gwinnett, and it's Hall. Hall County, mm-hmm. and Hall's the fourth one. Pulled yeah. in every direction. I'm telling you, it's great. <laughs> All right, we got some events coming up. Yeah, we, we got sure some do. Events coming up. 
Now we, we got do. we got a big one here in about uh, what uh, ten days a week something. We'll talk about that in a little bit. We'll right. end on that. Right. What else we got going on in leather and lace? Well, just a just a few days. Uh, We've got those ribbon cuttings up, and we'll give a lot yeah, of details. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about yeah, that we'll, in a second. Yeah, we'll give we got to tease that, Lori. we got to yeah, tease that. We yeah, tease we'll, that. we'll give all the details of it at the end. Uh, but just after that, we've got uh, coffee and cocktails that are coming up. And our coffee and cocktail events, they are a, a garden party series that I have. Uh, now, where is that at? It's at the Civic Center. In it's, Brazelton. It is. Downtown Brazelton, 27 East Lake Drive. Around the corner. Just down the street here. It is. Um, but yeah, so we've got that beautiful garden terrace um, at the center. And then we also, you know, are able to uh, utilize the lobby a good bit as well. Um, but we do a lot of leather and lace events there at the center. And the coffee and cocktails is is one that's a very, a very nice event. Um, it's, um, we have uh, entertainment. Our first entertainer that's going to be out on May 25th is Monica Spears. She's one of our, our local favorites around here. I've known Monica for years myself. Um, she's got a phenomenal voice, and she's just a beautiful person. So she's going to really add to the uh, ambiance that night. Um, we're we're going to – Leather and Lace is going to be uh, – we're going to be doing charcuterie trays, just absolutely gorgeous charcuterie trays, which is one – um, you know, of, of our honestly uh, best fortes as far as what we can do uh, with the catering, we are re- just well known in the area for our, our grazing tables, and uh, they nice. they really are quite jaw jaw dropping. Uh, not to boast, but just to be honest, you can boast. That's why we're here. Well, they're just they are very beautiful. You can boast. They are very beautiful, and we put a lot of hard work and love into them, and it shows. And so these charcuterie trays are going to be, you know, little sort of little mini versions of that, and they'll they'll be beautiful and delicious. Um, and then the now, when, ha- when was that again? I cut it's you off. May tw- that's fine. It's May twenty fifth. A couple, it, couple weeks away, three weeks away. Yeah, May twenty fifth. It'll be from six to nine, and music starts at six thirty. Now, now, why would someone coming out to, out to that other other than great food? Why of course. not? Well, I'm get, but. <laughs> Okay, better better way to phrase my question, and I knew when I said that you were going to say something. Like that. <laughs> what can people expect? Is this for networking? Is this a social hour? Is this to possibly meet people? I, I like to think of it more as just a, a nice social, you know, just a place to go relax after hours, wind down. Yeah, totally relax, okay. wind down, just enjoy music. Uh, kind of, it was you know we're calling it coffee and cocktail. So uh, the house is going to uh, also be serving. Uh, signature coffee cocktail drinks and then of course they'll have you know just standard bar drinks as well so um, it's just going to be a a really fun time and we encourage everyone to to come out and just enjoy the garden itself is beautiful just you know just the garden itself is absolutely stunning and so uh, adding all those other different factors it's going to make for a very lovely evening Okay, so that's May 21st right nope 5th 5th May 25th yeah May 25th from that's a Thursday uh, evening uh, yes, that one is. Okay. And our our garden party series, the uh, they always fall on either a Thursday, Friday, or Saturday evening. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha, 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 gotcha. All right. Yeah. Now, how how do people find out more about that? Is it you? You've got a website. We do have a website, and it, it all those are posted on our events with the website. Uh, honestly, the the fastest way to find out about our events is through Facebook events. Okay. Uh, our Facebook page is very interactive and very very live and it's easy to follow stuff if we want to encourage you to rsvp for something there'll be a link really quick for you just to click on and you know you can rsvp or however we're trying to help you uh you know become involved in that event that's probably the easiest way to get to it now is there a charge for these obviously uh, for for price of drinks or something, but is there a yep. charge for this to the, attend? The char- the charcuterie trays, of course, obviously there'll be a, a price on that, and then the drinks will have a, a charge for those. Um, the this one I have I have let this one be just free admission. Nice. Uh, some of them I will, uh, and then of course just some some of them depending on the talent that's coming in, we'll just have to base it on on that. You know, it just that's just the reality of business. I got you. No, I, I'm with you on that. It, it is business at the end of the day. Right. I might charge you double, Tom. <laughs> you <laughs> there probably you go. will. You probably will. I expect that. <laughs> for those listening, Heather and I have known each other for almost 30 <laughs> years. Uh, we know horrible secrets about one another, but we've always had each other's back. Absolutely. And yes, we have. All right. We, we've teased it long enough uh, before everyone starts turning off the uh, the podcast here. The week before... You have not one, but two 
ribbon cuttings. That's right. We we are we are uh, go big kind of ladies. I guess so. I guess so. We never have done anything small. I don't know that we know how. Uh, so 18th and 19th. 18, May 18th and 19th. That's a Thursday and a Friday. So Thursday, uh, Gwinnett County Chamber is coming out. Uh, I'm a native Gwinnettian. Heather's been in Gwinnett for years herself and, and uh, sh- you know, had businesses in Gwinnett. So um, they, they are coming out and uh, doing a ribbon cutting with us from, let's see, that one's from 12 to 2, and the ribbon cutting itself is at 1230 on, on right. May Th- the 18th. 30 minutes in, usually. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, and, and then Friday. That's right. And Friday. Friday's going to be the party. That's the day Tom's there. I'm That's gonna, why I'm saying MC that. I'm going to see this thing. <laughs> That's right. Watch out. I know. He's, he's going to he's gonna put the Thursday, whoever the Thursday guy ends up being to shame, right? Nah, um, nah. So, uh, but yeah, so Friday is, that's the new chamber that we belong to. So, and that's one, Barrow County, That's correct? Barrow. That's right. correct. And they're, they're a client of ours as well. We actually met through the Civic Center. They did an event there um, and became our client. And we just really, uh, Tommy and Christine especially, have just been incredibly welcoming up to us, um, you know, in the community. And so... Uh, you know, they talked to us and said, hey, you know, when it's time and, and, you know, to do this, we want to do this for you and so forth. So that has now been scheduled for uh, Friday, May 19th. What, and What time is that? Yeah, that one is from 11 to 1, and the ribbon cutting for that one's 11.30. 11 to 1, folks. On your lunch hour swing. It is technically a drop-in event. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. And we will have uh, – our. so we have a coffee and cafe that o- is open uh, three days a week as well. We forgot to mention that. And that's fine. We can we can wow. put it, We can can put give it a little hot plug at the as end. As you should. As you yeah, should. as we should. Uh, it, and that literally is just for the community. We, we truly right. have just opened right. that up just as, as something that the community can enjoy uh, because we're there working anyway, just to be well, honest. Well, you're located, so. I guess, in the shadow of 1904. Yeah, we're Can you just, say it that way? Well, we're we're if just, everyone knows where that is. Yeah, we're literally the just Center's right behind. You. We're right, yeah, we're right across the street from it, and right beside the parking garage. Right. So, yeah, right. uh, but no, so we'll have a charcuterie uh, table at both of the um, both of the ribbon cuttings nice. uh, for our attendees to enjoy and, and refreshments and stuff. And then, if you do want an espresso drink, we will. Our coffee nice. and cafe will be open I'm during that time. Slowly getting into the espresso. There's a long, funny story behind that. I'll okay. tell you off air. Okay. Well, very good. And then, and then, yeah. Speaking of espresso, our our last little plug that we'll do is for our coffee and cafe. So this is something Heather and I talked about. Uh, downtown Brazelton does not have a coffee shop of of any you know sort right. truly. Right. Um, and so with us being coffee roasters and a coffee company, um, and being at the Civic Center, you know, doing consultations and our you know day to day operations and what have you, we decided three days a week that we would open up for a breakfast lunch hour, um, and just honestly let the community come in and grab a coffee enjoy the lobby if they want to just sit around and kind of get a coffee shop vibe and hang out or if they want to go out and enjoy the garden terrace you know we're we're just trying to make it as warm and inviting as we can for the community well done well done thank you what else did what else did we need to touch on did we hit it all i think we nailed it we did good yeah we did really good We, we we are pros give us that give us that website one more time Okay, so our website is leatherlacecoffeecompany.com. Right. Our Instagram is uh, leather underscore lace underscore coffee underscore co. And then Facebook, you can find us. Just It's just Leather Lace Coffee Company as well, just like the, just like the website. Very nice. We're easy Very to nice. find. We really are. You start typing in leather and lace and Brazelton, and it'll just and all pop are. up. Yeah. And there you are. Now you got a really cool podcast to go with. Yeah. Awesome. We appreciate you having us, Thomas. It's oh, been this, fun. This, it, I've been looking forward to it. Thank you so much for coming in. Absolutely. Lori, Heather, you, Thank did, you, for you did a great job. It. I mean, over yeah, I there. Tried. You, you really did. I tried. It. We knew Lori was going to knock it out. We, we knew she would. That's that's. Why and, and I knew you would too. If you would do, do it, I knew you would do it. So, <laughs> no, seriously, thank you both for coming in. I appreciate you more than you know. Yes, yeah, too. Thanks, Tom. Oh, there's my music. That means I have to leave, folks. Check out Leather and Lace on the website and come by and see him at the Preston Civic Center. I'm Tom Sheldon. Another great episode of Northeast Georgia Business Radio. We'll talk to you soon.